So once again, we're talking rallying and uh, championship winners. I'm delighted to say Eamon Kelly joins us now to reflect on his junior British championship one uh, last weekend. Good to talk to you, Eamon. Good to see you. You've got a, a smile on your face and I'm sure it's been like that all week, so it has. Yeah, <laughs> been smiling since Sunday. So um, yeah, Oshin, thanks for having me. It's uh, it's great to be on the show once again. So I was on just before the Donegal rally last, but yeah. at least have something to smile about this time. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's great. Well, listen, last year you finished second in the in the junior championship. So obviously this was a category that that you wanted to win because it's it's a prestigious category as well in, in the motorsport circles, Eamon. Yeah, the British Championship, it's you know, it's been renowned for years. Um, you know, it's one of the top championships in Europe, if not the world. You know, it's such a a hot pace over there. And for junior rallying and front wheel drive cars, it's just, you know, it is next level. There's a a huge um a huge pace and always you know top class competition um so to go over there and compete at the top you really do need to be on your a game um and we always said that's where we wanted to be and it's a championship that we wanted to do and i, I always said i admired people who've won this championship in the past and there's been a very strong trend of irish domination over there too so i suppose as a young irish driver um it's quite inspiring seeing a lot of the lads going over there and doing well so naturally you want to be part of that and that was the the inspiration to go there and yeah we went there last year for the first time um to compete uh with i suppose relatively less experience than a lot of the other guys and we just kind of took it in our stride and you know we, we planned as we went along and we learned and you know last year we ended up having a, a better year than we expected we came second and the title actually went down to the wire and we we narrowly missed out um, but yeah, heading into this year, we said it had to be our year, and we put a plan together, and it uh, thankfully it came good. We had a yeah a very successful year and claimed the title with with two rounds to spare. Yeah, which is very impressive driving, and you sort of took a grip of the championship, did you after the Nicky Grisk? Uh, yeah, um, we've always I suppose consistency was my main uh, I suppose my main accolade. I guess um, we'd never finished outside the top uh, the top two, um, so. You know, from the get-go, it was strong finishes. And, yeah, after the, I suppose we got a win in the second round in the Jim Clark. Um, and I also played my Joker card, which is a which is a, a card you can play on a selected round that allows you to gain up to five extra points if you win. And I played that uh, in May in the Jim Clark and got an extra five points, which was a huge bonus. And then gathered wins in the Grampian Rally and then at the, rally in Wales at the weekend, which ultimately left us untouchable in the championship. So yeah, it's, um, you know, points make prizes and thankfully we got a lot of them and it, uh, it really paid off for us. Yeah. Do you put yourself under a lot of pressure in the carry I mean, to, to achieve the results? Uh, not really. No. Um, like you, you naturally just want, you want to achieve the results you want to win. So there's no pressure. It's just, that's where you get the enjoyment from. Well, you know, me personally, it's, everybody's different but i i want to win and i i really want to make the effort to win so it's it's enjoyment more than anything so i wouldn't say pressure as such um and you do as much as you can to you know take take away any form of pressure because i would be lying if i said there was zero pressure either um but thankfully i've i've had a lot of support this year and working on that too um i'm part of a an academy in Ireland, the Motorsport Ireland Rally Academy. And one big thing they provided to us was uh, psychology training, sports psychology. And that's made a huge difference on me this year and how I've approached my uh, preparation and how I kind of, yeah, treat my head and relax my head before events. So yeah, it's no pressure in that sense. Yeah. Um, obviously, you mentioned the academy there. It's it's hugely beneficial to young drivers. Kyle uh, McBride from Carandona also won, in the, won the trophy. He's part of, of the academy. It's a fantastic initiative that Motorsport Ireland decided to put together in, in, in recent years. And it's going to try and keep Ireland up there at the top of the game. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a, it's a new initiative, but um, we have to start somewhere. And it's fantastic that we're doing this for young drivers. Um, in Ireland, we've got such a a strong community of rallying and it's only right that we do something for young drivers coming up through the ranks um you know whether it's lads who are 15 16 years old or lads who are kind of in their mid-20s at the top of the junior game um and they've 
you know the guys in motorsport Ireland have put a strong team of people together to try and support that and offer as much as they can and you know it's an initiative that's it's it's in its early stages and they're learning as they go along but you know in, in future and years to come i definitely think it'll be something that's really really strong and hopefully can provide like a, a solid pathway to, to i guess a a career in motorsport even though it's a very very hard thing to achieve um that's what they're trying to do they're trying to pr provide a, a pathway as such which is yeah it's really really positive and it's an honor to be part of it yeah well your prize for winning the junior championship as a as a supporter drive now in the world rally championship round in 2023 do you get to to pick the round in the hyundai or does somebody else pick it for you man <laughs> um as far as i know i get to pick um but i asked about that last night so we'll see um i still need to I gather a few details about it but as far as i know i, I get to choose which where is, would you like to go <laughs> i listen i'm not too fussy i go anywhere um yeah. but uh yeah finland would be nice where finland finland would be mad yeah it's um i've been i've done a bit of driving there before um in january and it's definitely a different style um it's absolutely crazy, but any of them world rally rounds are, are unbelievable. Um, even the likes of Monte Carlo or Spain, iconic events um, that you know you you go to as a spectator and you think it's just it's super special to even be there to watch. Um, so to think that we can possibly be there to compete next year is just it's mind blowing and hasn't really sunk in yet to be honest, Oshin. But I, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, we're going to have a sit down and really think about what the most beneficial round is to choose and you know carefully carefully think about it but uh, no matter what it is it's going to be an unbelievable experience no doubt it certainly will be uh just looking further on down the line where does Eamon kelly want to be in the motorsport circles in, in five or ten years time Eamon? i will see we're kind of you know it's it's hard to say because it's such a it's such a grueling sport in terms of um you know your career path and where you want to go with it you know it's it's very very tough to say you know where you will be um I'm from now I'm I'm really enjoying my rallying. It's uh it's a pastime and I enjoy every single bit of it. At the same time putting in as much effort as possible. Um, you know, our plans next year is to to step up into a four wheel drive R five machinery um and hopefully tackle some rounds of the or probably, you know, a British championship or an Irish championship. Um and then possibly some stuff abroad, but we'll see um so for now that's my plan is to take it up again up a step in terms of machinery um but yeah it's very hard to say for the future you know we're kind of trying to take as it take it as it comes and just enjoy it along the way okay well we look forward to see where your career goes Eamon and we wish you all the best in the future and once again many congratulations on your brilliant success uh, in the British Championship last week no problem Oshin thanks very much for having me